Hi, welcome to this lesson on chords and arcs. So our essential question and objectives for this lesson, what is a chord, what is an arc, and how can we calculate their measurements? So some review, an arc is part of a circle's circumference from A to B, instead of going from A all the way around the perimeter of the circle or the circumference, I'm only going part of the way. A chord is a line from two points. So if I had two points here, and one here, there we go. If I had one right here, and one right here, an arc would be the path of the circle from those two points. A chord is the shortest distance, just a straight line segment between the two points. A diameter is a chord that contains the center of the circle. So we know that from one side of the circle all the way to the other through the diameter is equal to twice the radius. A tangent is a line that only touches one point. And an arc, like we just said, is the path part of the uh, circumference a path along the circle some theorems about uh, chords uh, in a circle uh, a radius perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord so if this AB is perpendicular to OD then in fact uh, the chord is broken up into two equal parts as well so AB uh, is broken up into two equal parts. In a circle, a radius that bisects a chord is perpendicular to the chord. So that's kind of vice versa. If the radius bisects the chord, then the chord is broken up into two equal parts. Or sorry, if the radius bisects the chord and it is broken up into two equal parts, then they are in fact perpendicular. And if they are perpendicular, then the chord is bisected. And the perpendicular bisector of chord passes through the center of the circle. So, in order for the two first two to uh, be true, it had to be a radius. Um, now we can say that. If both of those are true, if that they're perpendicular and the chord is bisected, then that line actually, the perpendicular bisector, goes through the center of the circle. It is a radius. So in a circle or congruent circles, congruent chords are equidistant from the center. And the same, if chords are equidistant from the center, then they are congruent. And in a circle or congruent circles, congruent chords have congruent arcs as well. And the converse of that statement, uh, congruent arcs have congruent chords. And last but not least, if the two chords, so A, B, and C, D there, are parallel, then they are going to intercept congruent arcs. So arc AC would be congruent to arc BD. That's all I have for you for this lesson. I hope you learned what an arc is, what a chord is, and how we can calculate their, uh, their measurements and even how they're related in some ways. Go ahead, try your homework. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, go to the Math Cafe if you need help.